I'm a Tom Brady fan. Oh, there you go. Um, I yeah. love watching him play. Yeah, I love watching. I like players. So okay, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. less about teams versus players, which is weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I really enjoy his sportsmanship. What's going on, guys? This is Brian Jones from popculture.com. And joining me today is one of the stars of the Paramount Plus series, The Game, which is also a reboot of the series that aired on the CW and BET, Josea Chanchez. Josea, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you? Man, Brian, thank you so much for having me. Yeah. I'm excited. Today's the day that we premiere. So yes. <laughs> it's like a lot, it's a lot of energy right now on the set. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, I can definitely understand that. So you know, yeah. How is it? How does it feel to be back repl- reprising your role as Malik Wright? Surreal. Yeah, it's really surreal. It's not something that you ever think that you would do as an actor. You get to, you know, play a character, three different networks, mm-hmm. three different, you know, <laughs> ages and genres and everything. Um, so it feels a little bit, honestly, it's surreal, but also it just continues to let me know the power of God and the power, um, you know, of, of just goodness in this world, because I just never thought as an actor that this would be my journey, getting to play the same character for almost 20 years of my career. And honestly, at first that could be a little bit intimidating as an artist to be like, Oh God, I'm playing the same character for like 20 years of my career. But then um, thankfully uh, I have way more of a mature uh, healthy mindset when it comes to these things. And I can completely see uh, the blessing in it because it's not something that actors get an opportunity to really do. We don't get an opportunity to play the same character for generations of people to, to be a part of. Um, I'm, I grew up with you, Brian, you know what I mean? Like people yeah. who watch the show, like yeah. we grew up together and it's interest. It's, it's, it's an interesting and beautiful thing to get to explore the next part of our life the people who have been there, um, you know, from day one, 16 years ago. So um, it's surreal. It's amazing. It's a huge blessing uh, to be able to play this character again at this stage in my life and in his life. Of course. And, you know, I've been Mm -hmm. keeping up with uh, the game over the last couple of years in the sense that I, there were reports they were going to bring it back to the CW. That didn't work out, but Paramount Plus was able to pick it up once they mm-hmm. launched the once they launched the network. So, what was your reaction when you first learned that the game was going to be coming back after being off the air for now six years? <laughs> um, well, well, my first initial instinct, and this is something that had been in the works for about three years now. Right, we had actually been talking to like I guess different networks and different homes for the show. Um, and a few other ones that were going to happen, they fell through based off of whatever the reasons are. Um, and so to fast forward to the Paramount Plus days where we get an opportunity to do this here, um, this was a really unexpected world though. This, the, this way yeah. that we're doing it, it was, a, it's a really unexpected way to do it in my, in my opinion. Um, cause it kind of, it, it shifts the world on its head with the way we're shooting the show now. Mm-hmm. Um, but the familiar, the familiarity of it is, you know, these characters that we've, you know, grown up watching Natasha and the Malik. Um, yeah, I can ramble about this. So I'm sorry. Did I answer your question? <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, you absolutely did. And it's interesting that you mentioned, uh, Tasha because, you know, she's, one of the more popular characters on the game played by Wendy Raquel Robinson. How does it feel to be oh. um, back working with her again? Man, let me tell you something. Um, I'm probably one of the luckiest men in yeah. this business, in, in my opinion, mm-hmm. uh, because Wendy is just a brilliant artist. She is absolutely uh, just one of the most talented people I've ever been on set with. And she elevates everybody she's in the scene with you can't half step in a scene with Wendy Raquel Robinson. Wendy, like she rumbles with the best of the best from the comedics to the dramatics, like she holds her weight. So she makes everybody around her better just by being herself, um, being her magnificent, wonderful, magical self. 
So for me, um, although Wendy and I are family and we have been for the longest time and we see each other all the time, we talk all the time, we text, um, we're very present in one another's lives outside of work and have been for, you know, 20 years now, whatever it is. And so it's a joy to get to work with somebody I admire, but somebody I love outside of my job, who's a decent, kind, caring, considerate human being. So, Absolutely. oh yeah, yeah, I can definitely understand. I hit the lottery, dog. Yeah, you <laughs> really the did. <laughs> you really did. <laughs> and, and you know, with your character Malik, he's been through a lot throughout um, the first nine seasons of the game, and then, you know, obviously um, with now the reboot, I mean, they they're moving to Las Vegas, and that should be pretty interesting. So, do you think the move to Las Vegas for Malik is good for him um, when it's all said and done? When it's all said and done, I think the move to Vegas is all for Malik in so many ways. Yeah. Um, however, in the end, it will shift the, the, the trajectory of this character. It's going to change him like, like a hard change in who he is, um, which is really consistent with what is happening in the NFL with our guys right now in, in, in this world. Um, there's a lot of shifts and changes happening. A lot of people are contending with, you know, their lives, their mortality, their, uh, their fam- like their family, their rights, uh, you know, who they are, where they're going and freedom and so many different things that um, our athletes are fighting for on, on the front line for a lot of us. To get to explore that is where the beauty of it all is for me. So, yeah, absolutely. And um you know, we talked about Malik, we talked about Tasha, and there's also going to be some new characters that fans haven't seen before. So what can fans expect from this reboot of the game on Paramount Plus, ultimately? Uh, we call it familiar, but fresh around here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're going to see some new, some new players and some new, uh, some new really interesting, really talented cast members. Um, in this world. And that's the thing about it is I'm, I'm, I want everybody to embrace the newness because the truth is the world has to expand um, and it has to grow uh, in some ways. So I think Devon and Mara did a really good job and all of our writers and everybody here, I think they did a really good job of uh, allowing the world to expand without shocking people with an all new cast of people. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, which could have very much happened. You know, we could have did the show, the game, and just did all new characters. Mm-hmm. You know, people do it all the time. Um, but I think the consideration for, I know the consideration for the fans, for Mara and, and Devon, um, are part of the reason why we've been able to shepherd the show in this way and in this direction. It's just because it's, in a way, a love letter for everybody who supported the show over the years. Um, and also to, to the, the world of the NFL like to our players, this is our way to say thank you for what they're doing um, by creating a space in the art world that represents their lives and their struggle. Yeah, so, you just, yeah, absolutely. And you, you just mentioned the NFL. Um, is there, are there any teams uh, that you follow in the NFL that you enjoy watching? I mean, in the NFL? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. You know, I, I actually I'm a I'm a <laughs> I'm a Tom Brady fan. Oh, there you go. Um, I yeah. love watching him play. Yeah, I love watching. I like players. So okay, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. less about teams versus players, which is weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I I I really enjoy his sportsmanship. Yeah, I, I yeah. definitely can see that. <laughs> I, and I, how what he'll do, and, and I value anybody who will do whatever it takes to be successful at their job. <laughs> Good oh, yeah. and bad. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I can definitely understand that. Not yeah. immoral though. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, no, no, you can't be doing immoral yeah. things. Like, right. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm a, I'm a player. I'm a player uh, uh, fan. Oh yeah. There's definitely nothing wrong with that. I know quite a few people who are not really a fan of teams or follow teams, but they uh, follow players. So mm-hmm. um, yeah, that's, Nothing strange about that at all. And uh, just a couple more questions before I let you go is, um, yeah, yeah. you know, 
when it comes to your future, what are some of the goals that you have uh, for your career? I know you've done some producing. I know you um, want to do some directing moving forward. So what are some of the goals that you have? <laughs> you just named them. Uh, <laughs> some of my, yeah. my, <laughs> my, my artistic goals yeah. um, are to continue to produce. I'm going to be producing a film or two, actually, uh, when I'm done with this series soon at the top of the year and directing. I went back to school after we left, we ended the show on BET. I went okay. back to school. Yeah, I went to UCLA to the film program and that was really the, the, the start of my new uh, dream. I guess one could say it's not really a dream, but it's my new uh, goals and my new reality is directing. I wanted to, to understand the complete, like the, the architecture of what it is to do what we do. Um, at that point, I had been working as an actor for a long, like over a decade when we ended on BET. And I left that job feeling like I didn't do what I should have done. I didn't learn everything I should have learned. So I went back to school. I took two years off and, uh, you know, just worked on my craft and understood, like I said, the structure of what this business is. And maybe I want to do something else. You know, maybe I don't want to always act, but you don't know these things until you actually explore these things and actually do these things. Um, and luckily through film school, I discovered that's it. I am an actor, director, and producer because the, the, the structure of the story not only intrigues me, um, is something that I am vigorously uh, intent on telling. So not just stories from an actor's perspective, but stories from um, producing things that I'm not in. I don't need to be in everything. I don't need to be in most things. Um, mm -hmm. And then directing um, things to help, again, shape the world and tell the stories that I want to tell and things that make me excited versus me waiting for someone else's project to roll through that excites me mm -hmm. as an artist. Um, building my own. Yeah. Building my own. So, yeah, those are my career goals. Now, my life goals and uh, life goals are always to be to serve my God, mm -hmm. to serve my God, which is to serve myself, always being kind and patient, being more patient um, and more understanding, more helpful to humanity as, as best I can and more helpful to myself. Um, those are my consistent life goals that as a man, they always sit at the forefront of whatever my temporary or short term goals are for myself is integrity and things of decency. So those are the things that I'm consistently working towards every day in my day, every second of my day, um, as I encounter other human beings. Um, so yeah, the, the life goals are more important to me than the career goals because God's my agent. He's my manager. He's my publicist. He's everything. So I'm going to be good in that department. <laughs> Absolutely. Great answer. Awesome. And yeah, I definitely appreciated that. Um, you know, last question before I let you go is, you know, the game has developed a huge following uh, with its first nine seasons, um, you know, first start on the CW, now on BET, or then goes to BET, now on Paramount+. Plus. So for those who don't know about um, the game when it was on the CW and BET, why should they check out the game on Paramount+. Plus? Ooh, why should you check out the game on Paramount+. Plus? Yeah. The show is set in the world of football. Football is the fabric of American culture. And even despite everything that the, the agency is going through and has gone through, uh, we are still a country that loves, respects um, uh, our players and in the game and the sport in general. Um, so why the show should be watched is because the show represents the culture, the fabric of this country, and not just the culture and the fabric of this country, but the relationships and lives of every single player, if you watch the show, you realize they're just like us because we are all the same. They have emotions, they have breakdowns, they have you know, so many different elements and factors to their lives that are offside, outside of the field. So I think the show needs to be watched. I think it, it's worth a gander and a look-see on Paramount Plus, uh, just because I think you'll see a lot of you in the series. And particularly after COVID, mm -hmm. um, you know, that we are, we're all experiencing, actually still not even after COVID, in the yeah. midst of COVID. Yeah, and we don't tackle COVID particularly 
Yeah. Um, but what we do do with the series is that we're in the we're in the current day. So it's a lot of challenges and things that we all have to contend with and deal with on the series that everybody's dealing with in their regular lives, specifically PTSD and mental health and things of that sort. So check it out. Yeah, I got a chance to watch the premiere um, just not too long ago. So I, I really enjoyed it. I think it's going to do great on Paramount Plus. So uh, fans definitely check that out. Jose, thank you so much for your time. I really enjoyed it. Uh, good luck on everything, too. Thank you, Brian.